good morning, all you many people. It's Pastor Matt. We're excited about Fuse Online. We're gonna sing, we're gonna dance, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna learn. So get ready, let's go! Well, hello everyone out there. Welcome to Fuse Online. I love seeing all those happy faces. Well, I can't see your face, but I'm sure you're smiling. We're having fun this month, imagining all the ways that we can use our creativity. Let's review our definition. Say it with me. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. There's a lot we can do when it comes to creativity because we are made in God's image and God's creativity is indescribable. There's no limits on God's creativity. He doesn't just create interesting animals, for example. He also creates them with really cool abilities and instincts, like how zebras and ostriches work together. Zebras have really great eyesight, but their sense of smell? Well, it isn't so great. Ostriches, on the other hand, have a really strong sense of smell, but their eyesight is poor. So these two animals hang out together. The zebra keeps out a lookout, while the ostrich does the smelling. That way both animals can help each other stay safe from predators. Or what about the crocodile and the plover? It looks like that crocodile is about to get its next meal, but really it's the bird that's getting fed. You see, the plover is doing the crocodile a favor by cleaning out all the food that's stuck in the crocodile's teeth. It's kind of like his trip to the dentist, but the bird gets an easy meal out of the deal. Uh, sure, it's a little disgusting, but also a little brilliant. Only God could create such smart, creative animals like that. The question is, how are you using your creativity to work with others? Sometimes things can seem impossible when you have to do them alone, but when you do them together with someone else, you can use your creativity and come up with a solution together. Uh, it could be something as simple as this, like you can combine your money with your siblings, and that way you can pitch the money together to buy your parents a gift. Or, or if you're at school and you see someone that falls, you can go over and help them and comfort them while someone else goes out to get help. Or maybe you see someone sitting by themselves at school at lunch. You could go grab a friend and together you could go sit with them. Even if they're the things that you could do alone, it makes an even bigger difference when you invite others to join you. God created you to work with others. Now, it's time to invite others to worship with you. So, call for your parents, get on your feet, and let's worship. Nation. 
just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna. <laughs> kids, Sophie here. Our memory verse for the month is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 3. Let's say it together. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145, 3. Great job, guys. Have you memorized that yet? Keep working on it. Let's grab our Bible and find today's story. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Mark. The book of Mark is found in the New Testament. So grab your Bible and turn to the table of contents and find New Testament. Then scan down and find the book of Mark. Here it is. Let's turn to the book of Mark, verses or chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Oh, found it. God made each of us in his own image to reflect who he is to the people around us. With the creativity that God has given us, we can do so much more together than we could ever do by ourselves. There's a lot of things that we can't do on our own, but God created us to use our creativity to lend a helping hand. Let's listen to figure out how four friends use their creativity to help someone in need. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, Inspired by the book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Jesus began teaching and healing in Galilee. He had become so popular that a whole mob of people would show up whenever he entered a town. Oh, my tummy hurts. My donkey has bad breath. Tell me how to get rich quick in my spare time working from home. For a time, Jesus stayed out of the towns in lonely places, but even then people came to him. So he returned to the town of Capernaum and word of his arrival spread like wildfire. Stop what you're doing, Jesus is back. Yep, everybody heard the news. Even a man we'll call, um, Bo. He's here in Capernaum. But Bo couldn't just hop up and see Jesus. In fact, he lay on a mat every single day, unable to walk a single step. So his four friends will all huddle together. You think Jesus could help him? Well, sure. How do we get him up there? We've got arms, we've got legs, we'll carry him. So the four friends each took a hold of a corner of the mat and carried Bo directly through town to the home where Jesus was staying. By the time they arrived at the house, they saw everyone in town crowded inside and jammed around the windows and doors outside. Bo could see nothing but a tangle of legs. Guys? There's no way to get inside. I know. Bo can crowd surf into Jesus. That's uh, one idea. Or, or, or I could tie a couple of foxes together, set their tails on fire, and, and let them loose to make a pathway inside. That's also an idea. We could try the roof. Bo? The roof? We're not turning back now. So together, the four friends carried Bo on his mat up the narrow stairs that led to the roof. They could hear Jesus' voice below filtering through the clay roof tiles. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds. But when you plant the seed, it becomes the largest of all. Guys, how does coming up here help? We're closer to Jesus. He's right beneath us. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's time to raise the roof. 
Working together, the four friends shifted the heavy tiles until they made a hole in the roof. Below, they could see Jesus. Along with a crowd of confused religious leaders, teachers, and townspeople. The sky is falling! Time to move it. Using ropes, the four friends picked up Bo's mat again and slowly lowered him down through the hole in the roof. And I'm free, free falling. No! Don't worry, we got you, Bo. Everyone below scrambled to get out of the way as Bo's mat came to rest on the floor right in front of Jesus. Um, hi? It seemed as though everyone in the room held their breath as Jesus looked up to see the four friends peering down from the hole in the roof. Jesus could see the deep faith that had led them to bring their friend to him. Then Jesus looked down at Bo and smiled. Son, your sins are forgiven. <gasps> the religious leaders were shocked. Though no one said a word, they were practically screaming inside their heads. What? That's evil. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking. If Jesus could forgive sins, he was claiming to be God. Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk? Huh, fat chance of that. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. From above, Fred, Mary, Pip, and Sam all watched in fascination as Jesus turned back to Bo. Get up, take your mat, and go home. Every eye in the room turned from Jesus to Bo. For the tiniest moment, Bo hesitated. Then, he sat up. With growing confidence, he swung his legs around. And then, he scrambled up to his feet. <laughs> up above, his friends cheered. Huzzah! Oh, you go, Bo! Bo took a step. A hop. A leap! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As the crowd watched in amazement, Bo picked up his mat and danced right out of that house. People moved aside faster than if Bo had been a, a fox with its tail on fire. I've never seen anything like it. Well, bless his heart and praise the Lord. Bo had been healed by the power of God and because his friends had worked together to help bring him to Jesus. Jesus has shown how powerful he is. Here is a man who couldn't walk, who couldn't get to Jesus. This man needed a miracle, but he had some friends who knew how to use the power of creativity. These men showed up big time for their friend. They worked together to get him to Jesus, the one who could heal them and who could forgive sins. They didn't let anything stop them because they knew Jesus could help. It's amazing how these four men worked together to help their friend. God gave them this ability and the creativity and they did whatever they had to do to get him to Jesus. God created them to work together and he did that for you and me. God created you to work with others. We can use our creativity together. Let's talk to God and ask him to help us work with others. Dear God, Thank you for creating us to work with others. There's so much more that we can do when we work together and it makes life so much more fun and interesting too. Help us to remember that we don't have to do things alone. And in fact, you made us to put our ideas together with each other. Please remind us to reach out to each other for help and to reach out to help others. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Now let's get back on our feet and use our creativity to worship God through song and dance.
Mrs. Clark here. Let's go over the Life app together. Say it with me. Creativity is imagining what you can do because you're made in God's image. Speaking of creativity, we have some super creative people here at LifePoint. Let's take a look together. Daniel Freeline has created an apiary education program which focuses on teaching at-risk youth the benefit of pollinators and how bees create food in more than one way. Heather Holmes, paints and creates mixed media art. She has donated much of her artwork and has used her skills to teach art to young children. Pastor Phil hosts a daily nationally syndicated devotional program for children at Keys for Kids. He's the voice of Zach. Bethany Potter made over 300 masks for medical personnel at the beginning of the virus. She also crochets stuffed animals to sell and give away. I know you've got some great ideas about how you can use your creativity. God can do amazing things through you, especially when you use your creative ideas along with other people. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. What if you send your pictures of creativity? Have your parents send Pastor Matt photos of you. Being creative with Legos, painting, gardening, instruments, drawing, you name it. We might show your photo next week. Now, it's time to jump over to our LifePoint website and download the God Times. God Times are daily devotional made just for you. You can complete God Times on your own or with a parent. Remember, God created you to work with others. Great job, Fuse Kids! Bye for now. We'll see you next week at 9.30.